Greetings, unsettled souls. <laughs> Sam Ganji doing political commentary here at the Correct Views. Welcome aboard Opera News. I need you guys going to Opera News. I, it is on YouTube. It is on a Rumble. But it is the wonderful people at uh, Opera News who have really stepped up for the show. And I think that uh, I would like to, guys to gravitate in that direction, particularly with all of the uh, shadow banning and outright censorship that we are finding on places uh, like Facebook. Uh, speaking of which, <clears throat> and I'll be doing this a couple times. I did it the other day. I had an excellent video up about a certain virus, and it was taken down. So we don't talk about that here. Instead, everything you're going to hear, it's not about that. They can't take it down because what I'm talking about is the oogly boogly virus. Or oh, oogly boogly is bad. And the oogly boogly metasi... That might be what, you know, they're trying to mandate everybody to get to prevent them from getting the oogly boogly. Now that you know what we're doing, let's get serious. It's the way we have to do this, friends. It's the way it has to be done. I've tried it other ways. It doesn't work. They just censor you. We're not, we're in a fictional universe, aren't we? This is, this is oogly boogly. Infowars here. There's a documentary out you're going to want to see. There's a link at the bottom. Um... I don't want to say the name of it. You can see it there. Um, titled Our Voices Matter. The short film features interviews with individuals who were injured following the Oogly Boogly Metasai and people who lost loved ones shortly after getting it. Um, this is from Australia and it's from people uh, who have suffered and their families. Now keep in mind, the Oogly Boogly Metasai is different in Australia. Um, I do believe that AstraZeneca does it, which of course they wouldn't do it now because we're in a fictional universe. But um, I granted, I, a lot of this might be from AstraZeneca. I don't know. I mention that because I don't think AIDS, AZ is being used in America. I could be wrong. Let me know. But the bigger picture here is that they're doing a one-size-fits-all approach with, with this uh, medici, and some of the outcomes are not good, friends. Did you know, by the way, that the it's not mandatory in China or Russia to get the oogly-boogly medici? Not at all. It's not mandatory. And do you know that their vaccines are more closely uh, related to the polio vaccine and traditional uh, vaccines as opposed to what we're finding here with this one. You guys know exactly what I'm saying and you know why I'm saying it. Now the very same medical establishment tries to tell... Right, Every one of the people in this documentary was trustful enough of the medical establishment to get the oogly boogly medici in the first place. Now, the very same medical establishment, it says, tries to tell the vaccine injured that the jab had nothing to do with their sudden illness and mainstream media will not give them the light of day. In Australia, over 350 people have died uh, shortly after getting the oogly boogly medici. And over 41,000 have reported adverse reactions, but the media ignores the data. Now, again, I'm not saying that this is the this is what's sweeping across the country. I'm talking about a, a hypothetical here, right? A family interviewed in the documentary wants answers after their father fell deathly ill after getting the oogly boogly medicine. The man's wife explained he went from being completely healthy one day by the end of the week and the following week being very sick and couldn't breathe and then gone. An autopsy showed that the man died of sudden onset myocarditis, 
a symptom that the CDC admits may be connected to the oogly boogly medici. And uh, it's actually the link there to the CDC, as a matter of fact. Um, however, doctors told the man's family that the medici played no role in his death. One woman speaking out in the documentary said that her 69-year-old mother's cognitive and physiological abilities went on a downward spiral shortly after receiving the first of the uh, medicines. Because the woman's family has a history of blood clot disorders, she doesn't think her mother should have been given it. While the mother was bedridden after the first injection, it says health officials came to her door to administer the second dose, and she said no. They discussed it among... Now, this is Australia. It's, it's not America. But, yeah, I'm sure it's a long way away. They discussed it amongst themselves. And then just came in and administered the oogly boogly medici anyway. The woman said of health workers forcibly giving it to her mother. Five weeks later, that woman died. Another once healthy woman interviewed had to learn how to walk, talk, and write again. And that was, uh, that was after uh, Astra. Asked what her main reason for speaking out is, the woman said, for people to be aware of what can happen to them. The adverse reaction. It's not all roses like they make it out. There are storms also, and we've heard of that. There is more of that, and there is more complications than you would ever think. When people try to tell their stories online, as I've told you, that's why we're talking about oogly boogly, when people try to tell their tragic stories online, big tech like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and others take their posts down and label them as misinformation. Once again, all of these people once trusted the science and it ended up harming them. Am I saying that you should you shouldn't you should not do it? That depends. That absolutely depends. Um, do you have a history of these sort of issues which make oogly boogly particularly deadly? Uh, on 12.20 a.m. today, I heard someone saying that there was, and this was somebody who did not trust the oogly boogly meta side that we're talking about in our completely fictional universe. He said that even though he does not recommend it for a lot of people, that there is 20% of the population whom getting the oogly boogly medici is a very, very good idea. So, what's the answer? Well, the answer is not to ban things like that. The answer is to have the information so that you can make the choice which you know is best for you. And again, if you think we're talking about a major outbreak that's happening, we're not. This is all role-playing, and we're just talking about the oogly-boogly. It's terrible. Don't get the oogly-boogly. Good night, friends. God bless. Thank you for listening and hitting share. And Opera News, I need you guys off YouTube. I need you. I, well, nobody's even on Rumble. Off YouTube. Go, please, go to Opera News to find the show. Don't hit unsubscribe at YouTube. That's not good, but... Get over to Opera News. I mean it. Thanks. Good night, friends. God bless.